Hey everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So here's the uh, balloon work that I have for today. I have two parties and uh, I'm pretty sure many of you guys can relate to game day, how if you're looking in your living room or family room, <laughs> It's covered in balloons, so I'm pretty sure many of you guys can relate to this. But I gotta get ready. So here is the car packed and ready to go. I got my uh, shower wood, backdrop, some cinder blocks, ladder, balloon garlands. I got all my supplies up in the front seat. My marquee numbers and my pedestal also in towards the front i'm ready to go that's the thing when you become a balloon uh designer you learn how to use your space efficiently <laughs> it's gonna be a very busy day um i'm actually running a little bit down um i'm supposed to be there at 1 30 but um according to my phone i'll be here to about 1 50. So i'll have a good assessment of how much time it's going to honestly take you to do the work Make sure you do as much of the work beforehand as possible. Um, I already have the garlands blown up, twisted, attached. I have the five inch decorators in there. Um, I have this stuff pretty much done. Uh, this part, this party is gonna be held at somebody's backyard and their party doesn't start till four. And since I've already pre-done as much of the work as I possibly could, um, it's gonna cut down a lot of my setup time. So I should be in and out in an hour and ready to go and ready to make it to my other event. That event starts at 6 o'clock, and that is in a venue where you only have two hours set of time. I also blew up the balloons, um, basically put them in their garland form, and put the 5-inch decorators in and pretty much got those set and ready to go. So my setup time, hopefully for that, should also be about an hour's time. So even if I'm running just a tad bit late, because I was supposed to get there about, um, I think they let, they let them in two hours before, so 4 o'clock. So I should definitely be there by four. But even if I get there a couple minutes after, I should be good to go because I got um, a lot of the work pre-done. I just want to give you a day in the life of, uh, you know, what it is to be a balloon designer. And um, if you guys can relate, uh, the stuffing of the car. Um, I have some, um, you know, some marquee numbers that I made. Um, I call them flat face marquee numbers because I don't do the borders. I just do flat face with the, with the lights. And I actually, um, hopefully, we'll be getting a video out on that for those of you who are interested in making your own. But yeah, I'm on my way now. And when I get there, I'll show you how I do my setups. Get yourself a wagon. These will be lifesavers, especially if you have backdrops that you need and you need the cinder blocks or bricks to support those backdrops. And another thing, these mattress bags are lifesavers. Make sure you get your mattress bags for your balloon so you can keep your balloons from getting dirty and from flying away. It's a lifesaver. Okay, so I'm done with the first party and it is um, 3.25 p.m. I'm on my way back to um, my city where I live because that's where the other party is going to be in my city. So it's saying it should take me about another 20 um, minutes to get there. I'm going to put the stuff for the other client um, in my car which I have her balloon garland ready and then I need to get a couple backdrop stands and stuff like that. So I'm gonna toss that in my car. Then I'm gonna grab me something to eat on the way to uh, her location.
event tomorrow morning great and then I will have to come back and pick the backdrop up from this last event in about uh, I think I should be leaving about 11 I think they it ends at midnight so probably be there by 11 11 30 but the good thing is it's in the same city it's about 10 15 minutes away from my house so it's not so bad yeah the one thing about that last arrangement is um, I forgot to spray my balloon shine but that's the thing too about black balloons they, they show that ash real quick so ugh, I hate that because some of the balloons I blew up in there just to you know fill up some spots as you saw and uh <laughs> those balloons are all nice and shiny and uh, <laughs> the other black balloons are a little bit ashy but um the people liked it they love the balloon garland and um I just gotta ah, I should have sprayed those actually before I left the house and then I could have put them in the mattress bag and then I would have had a nice, really shiny balloon garland, which it does make a difference in the overall appearance. And I just forgot. <laughs> but I got it done and I got it done in time. And so this is a, the day in the life of the balloon designer. I had two events today and um, I liked overall how they turned out. So with that being said, <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, go ahead on the like it and please subscribe for um, notifications for future videos on balloon and event decor. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>